Hello guys, welcome to Learn Selenium um, Automation uh, class. Today we'll learn how to write a Selenium script in Visual Studio Code. So for that, all you need is a couple of extensions. One is C Sharp and NuGet Python Manager and .NET SDK um, Toolkit. So let's write our first Selenium script. So all we have to create is a folder and let me open the folder. So I've got auto demo and it's open now. Um, let's create a new project using .NET, .NET new console and we got our project created now. You see a program.cs and the project. So let's install basic um, uh, it's asking to rebuild your project and say yes. Um, let's install the basic um, packages which we needed is let's say add package Chrome driver. Need Chrome driver. I'll use the latest one and let list of it. It will ask each time when you install a package. So we then we need um, web driver. Selenium dot web driver and Selenium web driver. Let's take the 341, which is the released version. Restore it and it's done. Let's install the next one, which is Ian Unit. And we got Ian Unit here. Take the latest one, restore it again. And when we install the end unit, we also need one more friend of the end unit package, which is test adapter. So, so the end unit, so we've got the end unit test adapter here. And let's take the latest one, restore it. <coughs> and the last one is the test platform test host which is basically to run the test and package. So say test platform enter. And I've got Microsoft test platform test host. And let's take this one, restore it. You can see here all the packages are installed now. And let's go to um, our CS file wherein we, we will write our first uh, Selenium set, Selenium uh, script. I'm not going to modify anything. All we have to do is uh, first import the packages, which is Selenium packages, and qa.selenium.chrome, and using openqa.selenium and the last one is the end unit the end unit dot framework so we are we have installed all the, um, imported all the packages now all we have to do is just use the web driver instance now so let me create our web driver instance public static IW web driver driver now we declare our web driver instance and let's make our main method as test so I will declare test so that this will be considered the trust so now first we have to set the system argument which is to point out our Chrome driver system dot environment um, dot set environment variable which is web driver dot chrome dot driver which is located at <clears throat> at mm -hmm. column C 
flash one driver just go win gt slash chrome driver dot exe so we declare a conda reaction let's um let's call our driver equals to new chrome driver you can always pass the chrome driver options inside chrome driver if you want to open the window in a maximized state or if you want to set up a profile of your own browser you can always pass any options you want using chrome driver options now driver dot navigate dot go to url which is https dot dot com okay and i'll say driver across so our first selenium script is ready now so let's click run test and you'll see the chrome browser will open it will go to google chrome and it will close the browser as well let's run the test You see, um, something should the lock should show the execution. Uh, let me try that again. I think I haven't saved it. Okay. Um, I think maybe I need to restore it. Don't want to restore it. So let's try again. There you go. Yeah. Ah, yeah, of course. Go public. So public static wide. So run test. Hmm? No more events yet, of course. We need to modify this. Let's treat it as a method. There you go. That's it. Thank you for watching.